Howdy friends, Guthrie Trap here, coming to you from my living room in East Nashville, Tennessee. You knew it was coming, baby. Um, man, it's been a while. Uh, man, I've been on, I can't even remember if I've done a video since Christmas. Uh, unbelievable. Um, I'm glad y'all are still here. <laughs> Let's just say that, whoever's watching. Uh, thanks again for all the support. Uh, it's There's been so much going on, I can't even begin to tell you when and where, and who, and what, and whatever, um, God, man, uh, send one, send one up, and send one out to the great Jeff Beck, the king, the greatest ever, um, such a crazy, crazy thing, it came on so fast, bacterial meningitis, um, I'm gonna tell you what my life's like, an interesting story, um, been doing some true fire stuff, the oat stuff, and all this stuff, and so, what was interesting was the, a few weeks ago, approaching three weeks or so now at this point probably, but I was in the car heading across town to go to John Oates' house, my buddy I've known for almost 20 years. Uh, we have this acoustic duo. I said, John, you went from the top grossing duo of all time to the lowest. What are you thinking? Um, so anyway, going over to John's house to rehearse and make some notes for the stuff we were doing at True Fire. I did some of my own stuff, did some stuff with him, to play a show at the Mahaffey Theater. Mm -hmm. Saw some of you guys there. Um, anyway, went over to rehearse with Oates and I get a call at 1030 in the morning on the way over there and it's Gibbons, uh, Billy Gibbons. And I go, wow, it's er kind of early for him to be calling. So I, you know, I, I picked it up, of course, and he goes, man... Um, wish I was calling with better news. And he said, uh, I just got a call from Eric Clapton that said that Jeff Beck was in the ICU and it wasn't looking good. And I'll never forget that day. I'll never forget where I was going. I'll never forget that phone call. And um, then I went down to True Fire and I hadn't heard any news. And um, that's when Jeff past and uh we went out fishing night fishing that night uh down in st pete and uh we played a bunch of jeff beck songs on the stereo on the boat we had some wine we toasted we listened to a bunch of songs and we just thought about what an amazing amazing impact that that human being left on this planet in the guitar world and music in general and just being an awesome guy i got to meet him twice and the last time was with Billy um, down in Franklin. And it was just, he was as amazing and as cool as he could possibly uh, be. And um, it was just an amazing experience. And so I wanted to share that with you. Uh, pretty pretty unbelievable, surreal, dreamlike uh, experience. Just the whole thing is overwhelming. And so anyway, um, getting back to the, to the guitar, you know, um, what I wanted to show you here was, Guys, this is what it's all about. We need to free ourselves up on this instrument. And uh, some of this stuff I was doing was with one and two fingers, really zooming out and just let's focus on making music and, and playing with intent, practicing with intent, playing melodically, um, really listening to what we're playing. This guitar is not gonna do any, anything until we tell it what to do, right? We got nothing, but if I play a, it's all about creating a vibe and a, and a, and a scene and, and a sound. And so Nashville really instills in you uh, how important it is to, to play something that is musical, that sounds like it's going somewhere. So lead guitar, single note lead guitar. You know, 
that doesn't mean anything until you put chords under that because that's where melody and harmony and all that stuff live. And so if I sit down, I'm gonna, like that first thing I did was E. I got a little theme going there with that, that F sharp and that open G. I'm using one finger, um, E, G, A, right? And that's my vibe. I'm gonna sneak in a couple other notes, but I'm gonna make it interesting, you know, keep it, keep it going. You know, I might go up here and do this little um right down the minor pentatonic, right? pretty easy stuff but but it's 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 kind of musical because I'm keeping a little bit of a rhythm going right so it's all about keeping the rhythm going playing something these phrases you can't just noodle around and end up in the wrong key and I hear a lot of people kind of bending at the wrong time and just like we got to really concentrate on it doesn't have to be complicated or hard or difficult, but it has to be intentful and musical. Um, so some of these other little chords that I like to break up, you know, the, the A. messing around with this major scale stuff. Right? Right? Go to E minor. major third in the bass or uh bump, bump, bump. that's your melody right that's it but when you put chords underneath this stuff it really starts changing so if i go a uh let's see if i go I gotta end that somewhere, right? If I just hang there, it doesn't sound right. But if I go, because now that's a major third of my D chord, it sounds like I'm heading somewhere. If I go, if I go uh, F sharp six, right? F sharp, uh, the sixth minor of A, but I mean the F sharp chord, F sharp minor. I just go uh, if I just play that with the A underneath it it kind of sounds weird but if I go there's a D under there right talking about right um see what I mean so as soon as I hit the bass note that fits the melody 
It's just about chasing those melodies. When I'm playing, thinking like not, none of this is like brilliant or anything but I'm thinking like what note is where that note is leading me when I'm playing I'm like okay that sounds like I should go to here so when you're playing try to think of the chord changes in your head of where you want to go do you want to go a you know there's and there's a natural feel to where these chords change I might go a Mistake, but A, up, D, right? I'm leading to that next note. E, A. Great exercise for outlining chords right there. This is what it's about, making music. One string. Going to the key of E for a minute. I went to the B string one time. That's just one string, but it, it, uh, there's some melody there and some musicality instead of just always hunting around. So, guys, again, this is like me sitting here just uh, doing a little Sunday afternoon video. Nothing crazy. Just wanted to say hi. I don't even know where to start. It's been so long, and um, as far as everything that's been going on, there is a bunch of new stuff coming out at True Fire. We're trying to figure out what to title that that course. Um, I played along to 10 of my tracks. This thing into the jam they're doing, it's amazing. You'll learn all about it and see all about it. Still sticking with Artist Works. I'm not departing. Those two companies have joined forces and partnered up. Uh, and so I'll still have the Artist Works curriculum going and all that stuff. And then the True Fire adding into it. Uh, still doing tons of guitar immersion experiences. Check out all the links below on my website for the four different tiers of private lessons that I offer. These have been a blast. Uh, me and my friend Doug Bossy, who's an amazing soundtrack guy, d does movies like Batman. Um and all these amazing uh, TV shows that you've seen. He's done over 400 uh, shows, but um, amazing scoring guy, lives down in Franklin with an amazing studio. And um, we've kind of joined forces. He's from the Panhandle of Florida as well as I, and um, we are gonna start doing some, some recording projects. We're gonna make some music. We're also gonna uh, co-produce some other people. Uh, if you have anybody that you know, or you that wants to do a, uh, excuse me, do a recording project, we're available. We want to start getting involved in more of that stuff. The East Nashville Guitar Club. Check that out on Instagram if you haven't. 
I know I'm rambling on and a lot of you guys are gonna tell me to stop talking, but um, gotta fill y'all in on what's going on, man. This is what we do for a living. We're happy about it, we're proud of it. There's more stuff going on now than ever. This trio is about to get out on the road. The Monday night gigs are going incredibly. Um, I'm doing everything I wanna do. It's just a matter of keeping it growing and keeping it moving. But there's so much more stuff to cover, guitar wise, music wise, um, and then and just life, man. It's 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 amazing. But boy, does it fly by. Um, thanks, guys. I'm gonna be 44 on February 3rd coming up, and uh, gonna have a little party here. I'm taking my mom and dad to the Bahamas, so maybe we'll send you a video from down there. But um, just trying to enjoy a few things here, and then ramp on into this next year and and kick its ass. So. Uh, stay inspired, you guys. Stay motivated. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Um, if I can help with anything, let me know. Otherwise, here's a little um, E blues chord inversion thing that I did not, not uh, too long ago. I'll show you that. real soon. Thanks again.